Hi, John Barson here for Total Health Magazine, Total Health Television. We're at the Marriott Hotel and Spa in beautiful San Diego, Coronado to be more specific. I'm with James Laval, author of uh, his latest book, Your Blood Never Lies. And we're going to talk about a product that I absolutely love. We publish a lot of research uh, on it. Uh, we have a lot of articles on kyolic garlic. Oh, exactly. Kyolic, right? Why do we like aged garlic so much? Well, it's because when you age garlic, when you take organic garlic bulbs and you age them for 20 months, it changes the composition of the garlic. You get rid of the, rid of the volatile compounds that, you know, when you take garlic, you tend to have an odor. Um, and it, it creates more sulfur compounds, water-soluble compounds, so it helps with detoxification and antioxidant status. And I'll tell you a breakthrough study that's about ready to publish, it actually showed regression of coronary plaque so when people took aged garlic extract, it reduces plaque formation. And what else did they find out in that study? The fat around the heart went away. That's really? Pretty, that's pretty big. With this? Yeah, with aged garlic extract, with kyolic aged garlic. That one's the digestive formula that I happen to have with me, but you can get the straight kyolic, or if you want to use it for digestion, you can use this one. But I think it's amazing because the other things that it did, so when they did the coronary artery scan, so when they do the, the, the calcification scores, they also get a picture of your bone density. And what they found was that the people that were placking more, you lose bone density. So the, the, the calcium that goes from your bones into your bloodstream ends up placking you. And it stopped bone mineral density loss. So it reduces wow. visceral fat. It helped to regress coronary calcification and it helped with stabilizing bone mineral density in that study. That's Dr. Budoff's study at UCLA. I think this is amazing stuff. And I love, I love aged garlic because one of the big things with, that happens when you get under stress and you're insulin resistant is you make really little LDL particles. So I always tell people the story. You know, you can make a, an LDL particle cholesterol that's a BB or a beach ball. If you're trying to throw it through a tennis net, which one gets through? The BB. Right. And the BB, that, that's the equivalent of the inner lining of your artery, right? So the okay. inner lining of your artery is the tennis net. And if you're making big fluffy cholesterol, it doesn't get through the tennis net, it doesn't lodge, and your immune system doesn't react to it. When you take aged garlic extract, so kyolic, it reduces oxidation of your LDL cholesterol, so you don't plaque. Right. And then, even more importantly, it improves the profile of that LDL so it gets bigger. So you no longer are making BBs, you're making beach balls. Right. So I think it's really important, and it has a lot of other benefits. Oh, blood pressure benefits, I mean, it has several important benefits, even immune health, I mean, reduction in cold and flu during cold season. But I think the cardiometabolic profile of it is amazing. And that's new research that's coming out, the study in UCLA. Brand new research. Now what? Over 750 publications on aged garlic extract. This is a new you know, primary referee journal tier one reference that's going to publish on this research. Isn't it exciting though? For, for many years, there, there hasn't really been a lot of studies done on a lot of um, natural ingredients or um, plant-based uh, plant based, um, Nutrients. Nutrients. Right? Thank you very much. And uh, but now, I mean, products like uh, Kyolic um, and the studies coming out on vitamin D and on magnesium, and I mean, the medical medical community is starting to sit up and take notice. Yeah, I think it's it's going to be important for us to move forward in in this category. I mean, obviously, both of us have dedicated our lives to the dietary supplement and natural health channel. We believe in lifestyle, and I think now um, we have to do those studies so that we can get people, both consumers and healthcare professionals convinced that it's time to make a change. I agree. Well, you look at the cost of healthcare. Right. I, I read somewhere the other day, uh, hospitals uh, get away with charging $800 for a $1 bottle of saline solution. Yeah, right. I mean, so do you want to spend $800 for a bottle of saline solution or do you want to take some kyolic garlic? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. At $25. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, and you know what? And keep those arteries clean because once again, number one, you know, number one cause of death right now is heart disease. And 50% of the time, the first sign of a heart attack is death. So why wouldn't you try and use something that's preventative that regulates inflammation in your body right. and really helps with those, you know, chronic processes that cause us to age? Let's, let's talk about like the, uh, 
the, the big three or four here. Um, if you are like you're over 50 and you are maybe predisposed to heart disease, uh, sure. And we're talking about chiolic, but chiolic's just one element, right? right. There, sure. There are other things you can you you of should course. consider taking, like CoQ10. Oh, CoQ10 is fantastic, right? Because it helps the mitochondria of the heart be able to keep pumping away, keep the heart strong. You know, magnesium we've talked about before in, in, in other uh, episodes, uh, but I really believe magnesium, incredibly important for cardiometabolic health. And don't forget fish oil. Right. Fish oil, the studies are still overwhelmingly positive that fish oil has a positive cardiovascular benefit. I think what we're starting to find out now is you need the omega-6s and 9s to go with the omega-3s. Right. So it's a balance, once again, of three sixes and 9s. But the reality is EPA and DHA reduce cardiac risk because they downregulate inflammation in our body. Uh, question, difference between krill oil and fish oil? Well, you know, it's an interesting thing. I would have to hold out and say, you know what? krill oil is a different composition um, so it's a little bit more like the membrane of your the cell membranes of your body but th there isn't as much data on krill oil yet to get behind krill oil the way I still get behind fish oil sardine and anchovy oils making sure that they're clean the thing I like about krill tends to be a little bit cleaner and more sustainable so I think there's pros and cons for both I think we still have got to get more data out on krill Okay, so a good fish oil. When you say fish, like you said, anchovies, sardines. Um, eat them. Eat them. Yeah, you can eat them. You can take them as a pill, right? But if you don't like eating them, my wife can't stand when I open up anchovies. I love anchovies and sardines. Mm. I'm Italian. Oh. What's better than a thing of white anchovies, and, right? And if you can get your hands on some organic sharp cheese. Oh, <laughs> or, my gosh. How does it get better than that, right? blue cheese. Right. Anchovies. Oh, I'm getting sheep's hungry. Sheep's milk. Sheep's well, milk you had lunch. Cheese. Oh, wait. We had our lunch. A little one ounce serving of rice there. Exactly. <laughs> 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 okay, James. Well, thanks for that. That's great. So, uh, Kyolic Garlic, uh, put that on your list of things to research. If you're concerned about your cardiovascular health, then we'll look for that new study coming out. Of course, it'll be published as well in Total Health Magazine. Uh, we do love Kyolic. It's one of our favorite, favorite supplements. Um, thanks again, James. We'll, uh, we'll talk with you soon. James Laval, author of Your Blood Never Lies. And get a copy uh, and put it in your library. You're going to refer to it every time you get a test done by your doctor. Get a copy of that test. Great. All right. Thanks for having me. Thanks, James. Uh, I'm John. Back to the studio.